Back again here at the Command Center JW Solar USA. As I mentioned two months ago when I was transitioned from AGM old school back in the day, diode AGM guy to lithium ion or lithium batteries. Um, I was in the process of the transition. I mentioned to you guys, I'm going to be doing the best to my knowledge or the best I could so that I can totally transition to lithiums. Being said that, um, today our topic is a battery powered home renewable solar energy storage. Let's check out this box and see what we have here today. I got two boxes that came for me. So there's one here. I'm not going to unbox this one today. It's going to be another video. Um, I don't want to get uh, two topics probably which are not the same. But I'm looking at, I don't know, it might be two different things. But my suspicion or what I was expecting is going to be here. Let's check it out and see. Stay tuned. If you haven't been a subscriber, please subscribe, like my videos, and share. We've been busy lately with all our upgrades before the summer. It's going to sit well here. I noticed this kind of package because I've been receiving some boxes with this kind of uh, insulating stuff. So let's see what we have here. Ah, right, there we go again. That's gonna be my Volkswagen e-Golf solar storage battery or battery powered home renewable solar energy storage right here. So like I said, you guys, this is a 14.4 volt and this is a 12 volt battery. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the specs there at this, uh, a 2P, no, a 3S, 2P, something like that. But you guys have seen that. But I can keep up with all this information on my head. So we got to go. This is uh, my Volkswagen e-Golf uh, lithium battery. So I told you guys I'm going to be um, setting up my battery. is going to be completely into the same batteries or configurations. These batteries are really hard to get or tough to get, but my source, um, I'm getting these batteries for my home. And uh, I've been waiting, like I was telling you guys, they're coming and I just wanna make sure that uh, you guys know and uh, it has been proven, it's here. So I only got two since it's not too heavy but um guys uh look at this that's the bottom right there these batteries are so powerful so one let's count it one two three four five six let me hold this before it falls okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so they are wired one two one two three four one two three four one two three four so you see <clears throat> it's four batteries in series and three in parallel okay so this is the deal right here these are cool cool battery look at the heat sink and look at all the good stuff here from Volkswagen so basically these are made in Japan or well, these ones are 95 amps so nominal capacity is a 25 but um, this was a 2013 Japanese and these are a 1000 and 68 watt hours okay I gotta check the other ones as well but uh, 
they were advertised for one kilowatt. It's a kilowatt, okay? There's a Japanese technology insert a German vehicle, the e-golf. So let's check this out. I'm gonna take this one, put it on the side, look at the heat sink. It's huge and keeps this battery really, really cool. So I'm not worried about like oh the battery is probably gonna overheat or something cause some trouble. So it has a much room for heat to dissipate. So it depends if you draw that kind of heavy, heavy, heavy load. And these batteries, I think, I think can draw up to about 300 and some amps uh, at a peak. And I think it runs about uh, 250 amps continuous. So there's another one. So I only needed about two to get me to my uh, eight batteries. I ordered eight, uh, six before. Four at first and end up ordering two more later and uh it gives us six batteries and um they're expensive batteries that's the reason i would have bought all the entire batteries well they kind of expensive no kind they are expensive i'll take that back so guys you guys have seen this and i decided to um say okay i will put them in threes which is um they are 12 volt batteries then i have them in threes three parallel three parallel and then series them that's supposed to give me like a 450 amp hours by series them parallel them first because 75 75 each so 75 times three and from there gives me the total and series them and now i end up with a 225 amp hours so i'm gonna be adding two of these back to the system so now I'm going to break them in in fours so that I can run them on a 48 volt. I never tried them on a 48 volt with my Outback, Outback power system with the Outback FX3048 inverter charger. I haven't tried that yet. So I, that's why I decided to get the extra two so I can get four. And I can able to go in twos so that I can get 24 volt, batch, um, 24 volt, two, four, six eight so i can have four strings of twos for 24 volt i can go two strings of four in 48 volt so this is the reason i can bounce back and forth like winter time weather the weather is bad crappy i will end up getting um the uh maybe drop into 24 volts because of the snow and uh i can able to get my powers a huge battery bank compared to a 48 volt so I can use my system as an AC coupling system as well so guys uh, it has a, a BMS port here so this is really really uh, easy it doesn't uh, look like the uh, Ford Focus because it has a BMS board this one doesn't have a BMS board on board it's already wired if you can just go ahead and put your pins and um, configured well then you can able to um, put a BMS system but guys I don't use BMS okay I don't use BMS system I don't see the reason why I have to use a BMS at this time maybe in the future but for now no uh, my batteries are all balanced I don't need a BMS system at this point and I just want to experiment this um good stuff fun energy before i'm gonna go into anything just be careful what you do set your parameters right read um, the instruction and make sure you get everything situated and launch your system right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna put it on a bench and and test the voltage of these batteries and see what voltage um, they came with all right all right let's see um, it's gonna give us the model number here which is uh, backwards I'm gonna spin the camera the PVS 1026 the same over there 
so it might be kind of form of identification but uh guys these are the batteries let's test the voltage stay tuned as we are in the process of testing this battery's voltage we have the positive here and the negative here and the positive there and the negative over there so let's see what one battery i hope i get you a clear view so you can get a readout so let's check this out for the probes and Okay, as you guys can see on the camera is 14.17 the uh, nominal voltage is a 14.4 I hope you can get this on the camera let me get this thing settled and see if I can able to see on the camera you guys see what I'm seeing yep okay you guys can see it all right 14.17 and we're gonna test the other one here. Fourteen point one seven. So the batteries are all balanced; they're all tuned the way they should. And um, we're gonna go from here. And this battery is gonna be joining the rest of the other batteries. And please stay tuned for more videos coming on this. Um, Volkswagen e-golf lithium batteries live here from JW Solar USA in Minnesota Stay tuned for this as we come in With a live project for you guys. I hope you like subscribe and share my videos bye for now And stay tuned for the next box which is gonna be in on box um, sometime Soon because <laughs> I don't know I'm kind of tired so we're gonna go back and uh, go about it and see what we can find out what is in that box thank you bye for now love you guys all stay tuned